Hello guys, this is Science Tutor YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn momentum. As you know, this is one of IGCSE physics lesson and end of this video you can see the 2020 specimen paper question solving. So I invite you to stay with this video until end. Also, if you haven't yet to subscribe our channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get future lesson notification. At the beginning, let's see what is momentum. A moving object has momentum. What does it mean? You know, when an object is in moving, it has velocity. Also, it has mass. So, when object is in moving, it has momentum because momentum is the product of mass and velocity of the object. This is the tendency of the object to keep moving in the same direction because it has velocity into the moving direction. Therefore, it keep moving in the same direction. It is difficult to change the direction of movement of an object with a lot of momentum. Yes. Why? Because it has huge momentum inside of that object in its moving direction. Therefore, to change its direction, we have to give higher force into another direction. Now, let's see the equation of momentum. So, the equation is momentum equal mass multiplied by velocity. Now, let's identify the what are the standard unit of momentum. Here, standard unit of mass is kilogram and standard unit of velocity is meter per second or we can say ms minus 1. So, here you can see our momentum is product of mass and velocity. Therefore, unit of momentum is getting as product of kilogram and meter per second. Therefore, standard unit of momentum getting as kilogram meter per second. And we can say momentum is a vector quantity. That means it has both magnitude and associated direction. For example, you have no momentum when you are standing still. How is it possible? When you are standing mean, your velocity is zero. Therefore, when zero multiply with whatever your mass, our final answer is zero. It means when you are standing, our momentum is zero. When you start to walk, you will have momentum in the same direction as you are walking. Why? Because now you have velocity. Therefore, you have momentum. The faster you walk, the larger your momentum will be. So, when we have higher velocity or higher mass, its momentum is getting high. Then, we are moving into next part of lesson is conservation of momentum. The law of conservation of momentum is one of the fundamental law in physics. It can be started as in a closed system. The momentum remains constant. This obeys Newton's first law. Then, what is closed system mean? It means that no external force are acting on the system. In calculation, we can write the conservation of momentum as follow. In a closed system, total momentum before an event or collision is equal to total momentum after the event. Now, we are moving to calculation of momentum. In this picture, before the collision, blue trolley is moving into right hand side with 3 meter per second velocity. Also, it is mass is 2 kilogram and red one is in stationary position which means velocity is 0 meter per second. Also, its mass is 8 kilogram. Now, Let's see what will happen to these trolleys after the collision. After the collision, both of trolleys are attached together and moving as one unit. So, final mass of this unit is 10 kg because both trolleys has attached 
and we have to find the final velocity of this one unit. So we can use the principle of conservation of momentum to calculate the velocity of the combined trolleys after the collision. Now let's look at how to do this calculation. We know total momentum before an event or collision is equal to total momentum after the event. Let's find the total momentum before collisions. We can use P equal mv equation. So before the collision momentum of blue trolley m is 2 kilogram v is 3 meter per second. So product of these two is 6 kilogram meter per second. Then Let's find the momentum of red trolley. M is 8 kilogram and V is 0. So momentum is 0 because it doesn't have velocity. Therefore, total momentum before the collision is 6 kilogram meter per second. Now, we have to find the total momentum of after collision. After collision, both trolleys are moving as one unit. So, mass of this unit is 10 kg and we have to find the velocity of this unit. From our momentum equation, we can subject our v velocity, then V equal to P over M. So, we know P is 6 kg meter per second and M is 10 kg. By dividing these two, we can get the final velocity of this unit as 0 0.6 meter per second. Here you can see some practical examples that we can see in our day-to-day -day life. First one is cannon recoils backward when it is fired. When a cannon is fired, the cannonball gain forward momentum and the cannon gain backward momentum. Before the cannon is fired, the total momentum is zero. This is because neither object is moving. The total momentum of the cannon and the cannonball after being fired is also zero, with the cannonball moving in opposite direction. Second one is deflating balloon. If you release an inflated balloon with its neck open, it flies off in the opposite direction to that of the escaping air. Third one is rocket and jets. High velocity stream of hot gas is produced by burning fuel and leaves the exhaust with large momentum. Now, we are going to discuss IGCSC 2020 specimen paper for specimen paper for question. Uh, question number is 3. First, read the question carefully. This is our question. The engine of an unpowered toy train is rolling at constant speed on a level track. As shown in figure 3.1, the engine collides with stationary toy truck and joins with it. I highly recommend you when you read the question, underline the keywords in your question. Here I have underlined constant speed, collides, stationary toy truck and joins with it because these are the main keywords in this part and we can identify velocity of truck is zero. Let's move in the second part of the question. Here, they have given before the collision, the toy engine is traveling at 0 0.32 meter per second. The mass of the engine is 0 0.5 kilogram and calculate the momentum of the toy engine before the collision. From this part, I can identify these words are most important. What are those? Before collision, engine traveling at 0 0.3 meter per second. Mass 0 0.5 kilogram. Also, in the question part, we can see momentum, engine and before the collision as most important words. Now we can do the calculation. We can use momentum equation. P equal mv. m is 0 0.5 kilogram, v is 0 0.32 meter per second. So we can calculate momentum as 0 0.16 kilogram meter per second. 
Now, we are moving to part B. What they ask? They have given the mass of the truck is 0.3 kg. Using the principle of conservation of momentum, calculate the speed of the joint engine and truck immediately after the collision. Okay, as I said, underline the keywords. Then you can easily enter in the equation. Here I have underlined mass 0.3 kg, principle of conservation of momentum, speed and joint engine and truck. Okay. Now we know we have to do and what we have to use. We have to use principle of conservation momentum and we have to find the velocity of the final unit. So we can write total momentum before an event is equal to total moment after the event. Before the collision, there is momentum in the engine and we found that 0.16 kilogram and momentum of truck would be zero because it doesn't move. So velocity is zero. Therefore, momentum is zero. So before the collision, momentum is 0.16 kilogram meter per second. Now let's find the velocity of this unit after collision. Total mass of this unit is 0.8 kilogram and final velocity is Vf. We can use momentum equation P equal mv, P is 0.16, m is 0.8 kilogram. By substituting this value, we can find the final velocity of this unit as 0.2 meter per second. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and share with your friends. Also, you can see this lesson in our Science Tutor Club website. I have put that link in the description part of this video. So, if you didn't subscribe our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notification on future lesson. See you with a new video. Thank you.